This video is going to cover using the Ohm64 with Archaos's Grand VJ, the new version 1.2, which has a built in template for the Ohm64. The first thing you want to do when you uh, connect your uh, Ohm64 to your computer through USB, uh, whether it's a Mac or a PC, is just make sure you have communication. Uh, if I go ahead and open up Audio Media Setup here in the Mac, I can see Ohm64 is connected and highlighted. Uh, and then when you first start up Archaos Grand VJ, you're going to get a prompt. So I'm going to start a new project here, but you're basically going to get a prompt that lets you select the template for the controller. And I'm going to go ahead here and select OM64 Mixer Mode, uh, which is the template that Archaos has created for the OM64. And in my preferences, I just need to make sure under MIDI settings that feedback type is generic MIDI and MIDI output is OM64 Control Surface. This will allow our chaos to talk to the OM64 and light up the LEDs according to uh, what I have playing at the time. So for the sake of expediency, I have created a project here so you don't have to sit here and watch me load all these files in. So this is basic mixer mode here. You see I have uh, 8x8 grid and on screen here I have an 8x8 grid of clips and to change the clips it's super simple to um, uh, grab a, uh, a file and just drag it in and you know replace a file. So um, this is already pre-mapped so when I press a button here it triggers one of those visuals and then here I have uh, these eight sliders and eight buttons here uh, correspond with the eight uh, layers of video that are set up in Grand VJ. So to select a layer um, I just go ahead and select um, one of the buttons below the fader. So let's just start for layer one. I can go ahead and you can see when I press the button it lights up. So um, whatever video I'm playing at the time, even if I click on screen, so say I don't want to control it by the controller, you can see it lights up the corresponding button. So this gives me a nice um, interface for knowing what I'm playing as I'm performing. The fader above the button, uh, which is the layer here, controls the transparency. So uh, I load a clip up into the, um, the layer and then I can uh, adjust the transparency of that clip. So I'm going to go ahead in layer 2, activate that, and select a, another clip. So now I have layer 1 and layer 2 playing. So if I lower layer 1, uh, layer 2 is playing and vice versa. Uh, I can go ahead and do that for all four layers here on the left hand side of the controller. So now I have four videos playing at the same time here. Uh, this is the fourth. So the, the one that's on top is obviously the, the going to show um, above all the other layers. So I have four layers of video here. I'll just do them at various uh, 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 transparencies so you can see the, the difference. Um, the nice thing about using this controller with our chaos is when I switch between the layers, you can see on the controller here, it shows me the status of which clip is playing. Um, so it's like I have, um, it's almost like I have uh, eight of these clip banks going at the same time because I can just select uh, individual layers and layer everything on top of one another and have individual control of each layer based upon this selection of clip here. Um, so right here I'm back on layer one and you can see I'm changing. But my layer two, my layer three, and my layer four visuals haven't changed. Uh, the way I have it set up here is I have an A side and a B side. So this is my A side Eclipse. Then I can go over here and select my B side. Now you don't see them mixed yet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and find four clips that I want to play over on this side. And I got one, two, three, four clips playing. I'm going to bring the opacity of these clips up. And then I'm going to go ahead and crossfade. Um, so right now uh, I have eight layers of video playing on top of one another and I'm crossfading between the two. So you can see I get really good control over these uh, clips, individual layers, and so right now I have eight layers playing and it's playing really fast uh, and it's, which is really nice. So you can see even doing rapid triggering at this uh, amount of layers is, is really smooth and fast. Uh, some of these clips have effects uh, on them. Uh, some of them are just playing clips. It's pretty easy to add an effect to a clip. So as an example here, I'll bring up this clip, which has no effect on it. I can go over to my effects. Uh, let's just find something here. 
roto zoom let's see what that is and drag it onto my clip and now that clip has an effect on it every time I press it Uh, these controls will give you various control over your uh, project. Um, these two uh, knobs right here will adjust the brightness and the contrast of the output. And these controls over here will give you control of uh, parameters on individual layers. So what I'm going to do here is just bring up one layer, fade over to B so you can see the kind of control I get. Uh, this knob here will control the... Um, the playback mode of that layer. All right, let me trigger a clip here again. So you can see right here, it changes the loop, how the loop plays back. I'll have it set to play loop forward, which just continues to play forward. Um, this knob right here will adjust the speed, uh, both forward and backwards. Um, these knobs will let me set the uh, the in and the out, the in and the out points on the clip, and then I also uh, also have control over the uh, position and size of the clip. So this will control the right here will control the position and size, and it just scrolls through different presets, um, and then this will control the tiling of the clip. So uh, that clip maybe is just too much for tiling, but you get the point. So as I'm Adjusting this, it's it's multiplying the clip and tiling it. And then going back to uh, mixing here, this will control the mix mode, uh, which is kind of cool because if you have multiple uh, layers, you can control each one and, and do different uh, kind of mixing modes. So you can uh, not just stack them on top of one another, but control the, the kind of mix that it um, the, the all the visuals uh, have to um, back to the visual here uh, you'll see that this controls the segment uh, the in and the out points uh, so I can adjust what I want looped and how much I want it looped so if I just want to loop this little bit of it I'm gonna go ahead and change the so you can see right now I'm just controlling this little segment and I can adjust that back and forth it might be kind of hard to find with a clip like this but if I look here and I see I have a clip of a man here uh, you'll see how how cool this can be so I'm gonna adjust this little part here so now it's just looping between this little bit this little bit so it's nice because you can you can have total control of um, how you want this clip loop just based upon adjusting these two knobs right here and then of course I can do all this mixing mode and, um, tiling and and you know come up with pretty interesting things so um, this is really just scratching the surface on how easy it is to use the ohm 64 with the uh, Archaos Grand VJ and this is in their new version 1.2 which has the template uh, preset for the controller and uh, we're hoping to see some more of this in the future thanks for watching